assurance that the parameter is secure, Captain Manos. Still in the jungle. Still not really doing a lot of things. All right. Still playing as Bentley. That's the thing I am a fan in favor. Bentley's red. Bentley's pretty red. And I just love the way he walks. So yeah, keep on doing that. He's small, he's cute, he's everything in a package. So uh, while we're running around here, I might as well talk about this. Uh, you may have noticed that you may have noticed that uh, Rajan got two levels compared to Dimitri, who got one. That is because the Dimitri was only going to have one level, and I will talk about that during right. this mission. That's the thing. Yeah, I will talk about it now, but you know, whatever. I suggest you talk about it after the guess. Yeah, it's a very smart thing. Funny amount, huh? It's a return of one of our favorite missions. Your bombs are strong enough to do. And by favorite, I mean. Uh... Fortunately, while monitoring the bug in Rajan's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. Autopilot attack helicopter. This truck. Yep. Isn't that very convenient? Well protected. I love it how convenient things are for our protagonists. Yeah, no right. Also, the helicopter is larger than the actual truck. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that actually. Well, wow. <laughs> yeah, so the, the wings. The... So yeah, this is just another uh, helicopter mission, as you see. So let's talk about something else. Uh, the meter was originally going to have two levels. The first level was obviously going to be in Paris. In Paris, I mean. The second one, the second level was going to be in Monaco. Oh. And there were actually like footage of that from the dev from the developers, which they released, I think, in the third game from Monaco, and showing off, you know, a uh, slide running around in Monaco. And apparently, they were going to have like apparently when they were in Monaco, Ben was going to ram like a jock into the place where they're going to steal something. Okay. So. Yeah, but that didn't happen. I don't know why. Maybe time constraints. Maybe didn't yeah, have the money, the time, or the manpower. Time constraints is usually a good, uh, a good guess. Yeah, it's sad. It kind of sad because I really wanted to see that, but you know. Yeah, that sounded I, red. Yeah. It's going down. Worst pilot ever. But it's autopilot, so. It was also like just literally going back and forward, so it was like a. Autopilot, I don't know, swing. Yeah, but still, that is not how buildings or helicopters work. <laughs> hey, now. Yeah, you're right. So let's play it Sly instead. Yeah, I mean. He has a lot of levels, actually. It's not like too. anybody asked me what he wanted to play as. No. Let's play as Sly. <laughs> well. <laughs> like, Speaking of that, does going into the base replenish your health and. Uh, Ability thing? Yes. That's good enough. The base is very useful. It scares off enemies and it gives you health. As all bases do. Yeah. Also, that gear I presume is just for uh, appearance's sake. It doesn't kill you or anything. Uh, yeah. It doesn't kill you. Oh. But it, but it can't put you into the water, which kills you. Oh. Oh well, hurts you at least. I would like to point out that literally seconds after starting this recording, I was linked to a video I had been waiting for for weeks. <laughs> so yeah, we're I'm currently destroying all of, uh, all of the spice lasers. Yes. To create these catacombs. Spice lasers. Spice and lasers do not mix. To destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. Have you ever tried to make a spice laser soup? Uh, yeah, I didn't, it didn't end up well. Oh. I was mostly oh, making you joke, though. But be <laughs> I haven't actually watched you, so that's why I probably didn't catch that. Sorry about that. Okay, so they are specific barrels, uh, specific lasers on which TNT barrels work. Yep. Apparently, okay, cool. So, there's a TNT barrel if you... Well, yeah. It's kind of weird, like, you just jump out of the TNT barrel and it just instantly explodes. Maybe, like, Sly hits, like, fires off the dynamite while in there. With his farts, one is the resume. Yeah. 
Else, I probably don't need to tell you that. I don't know, did he bend to tell us that lasers destroy barrels? Uh, he said that floor lasers do not work. CNT barrels. Yeah, that's what I mentioned, like... They're all lasers. Yeah. Like, if it works with one, it should work with the other. Because laser is just light! Within visual range of the spice grinder. But these, these are special lasers. Spice lasers, as you said. I just noticed that they spell spice with a big S. And have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the favor and Rajan's full. This this is very breaking bad. <laughs> now we can see where AMC stole the plot from. <laughs> Soon on AMC, it's Breaking Bad Cooper. Explosive disguise. Sly Heisenberg. <laughs> Breaking Sly. Bentley, we gotta cook. Yeah. No, no, no. Bentley would be the science of the team. <laughs> and um, I guess Sly, who is the bad boy but still the kind soul of the thing, would be the the Jesse in this case. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe Murray would be the Jesse. Maybe. But, you know, Jesse to me felt more like a, a roguish character rather than. Yeah. For the faded black. So yeah, I might have died sometimes oh. here. Oh, I wasn't sure. I thought the game faded to black. <laughs> <laughs> editing. <laughs> I am good at editing. Unlike video games. So you probably noticed there that um, there was a secret there with the uh, briefcases and whatnot. That is actually that actually counts towards your percentage for some reason. Oh, I noticed the thing it's the up. only secret place in the whole game, I think, that counts towards your percentage, which is really weird. Yeah, I was gonna say that that is not how you program things. So so random, like only the other places don't count, but this one does. Yeah, like I honest. There are like three, four hidden things in this episode, but that is the only one that counts towards your percentage, I think. I don't know what to say. Sucker punch. Programming. So actually, for the first time I died, died here, I didn't actually place the the TD barrel in the uh, slot there. What's going on down there? So I placed it like exactly outside, and didn't, and nothing happened. It was great. Oh yeah, of course. Explosions only work within a very specific area. Within that area, everything dies. Outside of it, nothing happens. <laughs> exactly. I'm an expert, I've seen all the anime. So as we can see here, I don't know how Sly got this code, but he sure did. Uh, he did advanced quantum mathematics to do. Did like linear algebra or some incomprehensible shit like that. Hmm. I, I thought it was uh, mentally something. Lovelace. I heard Lovelace somewhere. I said mentally. I tried to say it mentally anyway. Oh. So, uh, hey, wait a minute. They didn't talk about this level. Nayla's secret. Yes. W what are you trying to imply, game? Because I'm not sure I'm comfortable with where this is going. Cooper, we meet again. Constable Neela, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. Oh, I should be thanking you. Oh, I should be thanking you. Melita's face was priceless, I. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their. Yeah, she suddenly has got really yeah, thick with her said. accent, as you might notice. Look, Neela, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I? Uh oh. Go we'll oh God, it is. Jesus. Sly that is, is totally not racist, Sly. I've learned of a secret and but as we all know, the don't think that's worth going to India is, you know, spice and curry. Can you can you name anything else from India that has that is not curry? Um, um the new CK2 expansion. I'm sorry, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> the book Lord of Light by Roger Zelazny. I hear that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they Elephants. It's all technical problems. So let's chase Neil again. Same thing as before, only that your 
more viable to get close to her and get hit by her whip, which is terrible. I don't know, considering Sly's added here recently, I wouldn't think he's that mad. <laughs> okay, that was a whole I, I'm, I'm not even gonna comment on that. So let's talk about something else. <laughs> So, one thing that I have completely got to mention, because it's completely insequential and sort of dumb, is the fact that if you had a headset connected to the PS2 or PS3 while playing this game, you could have... you would could lure guards over. Okay, that sounds absolutely not very useful at all. Well, you could lure guards over with sound, and you could also hear the Monokicom noise in your Monokicom, in your headset, instead of, like, through the game. But, like, the game never touches upon this, No, I don't even think it's in the manual. It's just sort of there. It's... it's pro stress. Yeah. It actually speeds up the game, because, you know, you don't get to hear as much Monokicom noise, clearly. Oh, yeah. You got, like, ten frames an hour. Much better. Yeah. Save those frames. Save the frames. Hashtag save the animals. <laughs> Although considering this game, save the animals is probably pretty accurate. Save the save the animals from spies. It's the anti spice. Save the animals from spies animals who are slightly weird because they have romantic relationships despite being animals. <laughs> Not quite as catchy though. No. I mean, I understand that trying they're trying to humanize the characters, I never showed you but it's yeah. still kind of and uncanny in a sense. And we're on for that date. It's kind of hard to get past the whole, you know, the fact that they look like animals. Yeah, like Sly is a rac raccoon. Carmelita Fox is a fox. And Neela's a cat. Yeah, but there it is, just like Neela said. In order to lower the no, I, I completely understand. I, I, it's anything like. On the other hand, had it been humans, the game would probably be really boring overall. Yeah, I guess. Because you know, you know. it's kind of hard to make it, you no know, fun and like this. I guess just, just slightly weird when it gets, when it becomes more than just a minor romance point for a bit of tension, and, you know. Yeah. No, but hey, the, the Sly one scene with Sly teasing Carmelita were pretty interesting. But still, yeah. kind of. So, you see the see that blue sparkle? Don't trust that blue sparkle. Oh, yeah, I was gonna wonder about that. <laughs> uh, so, we you want to go, go up, you have to follow these sparrows, and you actually have to follow these sparrows anyway, Why because, is Sly well... Spinning? I am spinning around. Oh, okay. Because I am bored, and I have to wait so I can get over to this part of the level. So, well, before the barrels kind of dropped the water onto the spice, and now they just carry them around, I guess? I don't know. It's kind of weird. So, yeah, you, have, you actually have to, like, get to the barrels, at least. The thing is that I always forget that the barrels are there, so I kind of just run around forever. <laughs> so that's why I cut that out. Oh my god, the heart falling down just... Yeah. It looks so proud. The heart looks like one of those big checks at the uh, game shows. <laughs> I got a ten thousand dollar heart. Come down here and get your prize. So here's another uh, green door force field thingy. But he also knows the code for for some reason. It's, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, yes. Only an idiot would put that code in, in anything. It's one, two, three, four, five in, like, binary or something. Um, that would be... A whole lot. That's a lot of digits. <laughs> So let's. So I was actually trying to save that mission for last, but then I just went like, ah, whatever. The last mission, we have to go this way to get the last mission, and before I went the wrong way, so yeah. Just like my favorite Metroidvanias. Mm hmm. Sly Cooper in Metroidvania. Sly Cooper in Metroid Symphony of Sorrow. 
whatever, whatever, whatever Castlevania name we're going at these days. <laughs> Castlevania. Sly Prime. Sly Cooper in uh, other Castlevania. S. Other M. Yeah, other rest would be a horrible game. <laughs> other B, other baby. The baby. Sly Cooper S made by Team Ninja. Actually, I could kind of see that to be honest. Team Ninja wasn't the one that destroyed Metroid Other Ram in a way. Yeah, it was a whole lot of things. Yeah. We've been contracted to acquire that huge ruby of Rajat. I don't know, personally, the only thing I like from Other Ram is Samus's uh, short hair. Because it looks pretty good and pretty good on her. Did she have a short hair in that game? That's a lot of kick. Yeah. She first had right. it in the trailer. To get that ruby. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Well, that's her army hair, though, in, like, the actual game, she has, like, long hair anyway, I, I think. Oh! Wait, she does? I think. Also, anyway. apparently, searching for Samus Adoram short hair on Google with Greek shows you a picture of shirts. Okay, then. Murray, you're on. Oh, yeah, it was the one from cutscenes, I guess? And now we need your I'm not sure. I think it was the one in the game, I haven't played it, but... Oh! It's the Murray! You were fooled, it's not actually Slice level, it's Murray's level! Best you, all, character. you were all duped. Boing. Just double jumping and jumping overall. And, and falling, falling into water. water. They didn't remind that Murray's a hippo and he can't swim in, the wa in water. Yes, hippos are very much non aquatic mammals. Yeah. It's a little known fact that animals which spend a whole lot of their lives in and around water are unable to swim or move within the water at all. Yeah. Well, the game's justification is that they never learn to swim. Oh, well, yeah, that's pretty huge. <laughs> I should also, you saw that I got the Juggernaut throw. What the Juggernaut throw is that when you throw enemies into something else, they explode. Okay, yeah, Murray is seriously starting to sound like a wrestler now. <laughs> oh, is he gonna use the Juggernaut throw? Oh, bone and explodes into flames. By God, by God, what a slobber knocker! <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna show off the Juggernaut throw here, though, because, well, there are no enemies who cares? to throw at other enemies. Well, there are, but. Well, actually, you don't need to throw, me, throw them into another enemy, you just need to throw them into something. But I just didn't bother, I just wanted to get over here. Don't worry, I will show it off, though. Please do. Oh, I will. I will. So, wanna see something interesting? Pick up the ruby with your stop move. Despite Hello there. That rock is really fragile. Please ignore Bentley. Inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. Okay. Oh, to the first buyer. I presume something will happen. Uh, maybe. Something maybe will happen. Go. Ah, where did he go? Ghost enemy. What? There was an enemy standing there before. Now he's gone. He's a ghost. Uh, yeah. Bentley killed him, presumably. When we weren't looking. I'll, I can do that. Also, you cannot jump uh, while holding it, I guess. You cannot jump, you cannot run, yet. There's an upgrade we can get later that will allow us to do those things, but we can't jump with it right now, no. You look kinda dumb while carrying the axe. Well, that would kinda break the, this level, so to speak. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, the whole point is that you're supposed to go around and throw with the stuff and don't get hit by other enemies, because you're carrying a giant ruby that is apparently fragile. really weak to hits. Yeah, fragile, thank you. This ruby is near flawless. Also, this voice. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. What? Why would you do that? Just get the money yourself and get it. You were right there. <laughs> it's too lazy. They're, they're, they're a very la lazy band of merchants. Oh, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't bother you, I guess. <laughs> Whatever, just put it there. Meh. Who cares? Who cares? It's just, it's just a giant ruby. 
Don't worry though, we don't have to like carry this around the whole place. You just need to carry this around to like two places. Also, oh no, I was spotted. Oh no, oh, I was spotted. Pro dodging strats. Bentley fools me to think that I am supposed to go to the other place and then he attracts the whole place. See, this is the power of those snakes. They can just attract the whole base. That's my experience with snakes. Pretty much. Just, I meet one snake and then suddenly like all my enemies are there. <laughs> God damn! I love he knocks you off, then jumps down, then gets hit in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what am I doing? <laughs> also, fire is hot. Where is Bentley actually? He's standing over there, not helping me at all. Oh yeah, typical Bentley. It's not like he could like shoot sleep dart at the enemies or something. Yeah, or you know, throw bomb. Yeah. Although, then again, with what the thread has been saying, apparently friendly fire exists in this game, which is uh, not too good. <laughs> at least in some missions. I must say, the Cooper. This voice again. Lives up to its reputation. I'm pretty sure to use like a voice modifier for this. Yeah, I'll just presume it's the same guy as before. It's not, because the, the last one was a lady and this one is a guy. No, no, it's the same person doing it, just, you know... Making noises like this, <laughs> changing their voice. <laughs> 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 like, like, you know, some dumb Scooby-Doo episode or something. Yeah. Operation Wet Tiger. And I would have made it if it wasn't for you meddling. Okay, on animals. the bright side, I found a title for my MP3 recording of the episode. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. It's a good thing they don't they won't see the title. No, no, only Game the D does that. <laughs> but on my defense, I put a really good description in that file. Get to high ground as fast as. Yeah, you did. I, I saw that. God is sure to show up and be extra angry. That was not angry, that was dumb. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I'll be in you now, just hold still for a bit. 